Hey guys, we're here with the Carbon Cub SS and uh, we did the the flat mod that's take off, uh, excuse me, take off landing and then I have an O crap setting with the elevator correction. O crap, slower down, faster on the way up. No matter which setting I come from, it always goes to the same spot for the O crap setting and it always returns to whatever spot it was going to be. And then I also added these what I'm calling vortex generators. They could be drag generators. <laughs> I had somebody comment on that and I hope you're wrong because it's gonna be awesome if it works. Um, we don't have perfect conditions out there for flying a UMX, but we'll see. The, the reason that prompted me to do this was because I had um, kind of a nastier crash with this the other day and I had to replace the prop adapter. So in order to do that easily, you open up the, the plane. And I fixed my uh, flaps. And if, can you get a shot inside between those, like right here? Yeah. You guys see that servo operating? Basically, all you gotta do to make your flap deflection more is you have to shorten the lever arm. It's a lot harder than it looks. So just trust me on that. If you wanna try, be my guess, but we're gonna try to get you a flight video right now. Okay, so we get a little bit of wind coming from that direction and over the houses, so I'll probably start out in the street. We'll see how this works. Try to get a couple of passes with some flaps. It could be a little bit too windy, but we'll find out. Final control system theft. No flaps. Got a little crosswind coming. Whoa, I'm gonna wait for that. We got wind coming between the houses here, so we'll try that again. Well, so far it feels nice and solid. I can't necessarily say that there's anything too aggressively different about it. It feels a little bit less responsive right this second, which is weird. I suppose if I was creating drag, that would be probably one of the symptoms. It's pretty windy. I don't feel like I have very much elevator deflection, which is weird. I don't recall that being a big problem. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna come by for a low pass here on from left to right so we can stay into the wind. Okay. You wanna get positioned up there a little bit closer to the road. This is about a 60% pass because the wind is a little bit crazy. That was the sign I hit, broke my nose the other day. That's like a 100% pass right there, which is not so hot. This thing would normally be pretty ballsy at this point. I'm gonna try to get a little trimming here. You can tell the AS3X is kind of pissed off at me right now. I'm doing some trimming there. I just gave myself like about a 70% adjustment on trim. Okay, so I'm gonna do a takeoff flap here. This is a takeoff flap pass. Jeez, that wind is a little aggressive. Yeah. And not only that, but I'm at like 100% throttle, which means I'm pretty sure I'm creating extra drag. Let's do full landing flaps here. Boy, that thing slows down like crazy. That's nuts. No loss of control. I don't feel like it ballooned at all. She's actually, <laughs> if I slow down the throttle, I can go backward. Am I going backward? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the oh crap setting. Oh crap. <laughs> Still have up and down authority. Guys, you'll notice I'm more than a few mistakes high here. Guys, look at that. No loss of roll control or authority there. That's pretty awesome with the old crap setting. And I would say that I'm at like an 80% down flap mode there. Okay, coming out of the flaps. Gonna sneak down here for a crazy pass. Okay. 
regular landing flaps. Whoa. So, I think you guys can probably imagine what I'm thinking now, and that is awesome flat mod. Ah, dang it. I broke this little thing off to go glue that back on. That's a pretty common thing to break on this carbon tub because it's weak right there. Um, but I think my vortex generators are just, like multi-rotors suggested, they're just, uh, they're just gonna be drag generators. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel them off and we're gonna go back up in the air. And uh, that was the other thing I was talking about is losing paint. Ugh, lots of paint. Dang it. Do you hold these for me? Yep. Just stick them to your hand. Don't squish them. Oh, don't squish them. Just pause it. Okay, guys, so we had to run in quick and glue that. And regrettably have to grab a new uh, LiPo. I'm using 300 milliamp 2S Nanotech with an E-Flight compatible plug, so I don't have any plugs redone. Uh, got done with my pre-trip control surface test, and you'll notice we have the Vortex slash drag generators off. Weird thing about it, guys, I almost feel like the Vortex generators would help if you were flying inside, because it's, it's like extra flap deployment all the time. But I didn't feel like I was losing control of the plane. So, okay, so that's with uh, everything ready to go. We're just gonna go ahead and Ah, uh, you see my rudder's not working. Hold on a second, guys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this happens to me. No rudder, no rudder play. That works. There's gotta be a contact somewhere in there that's broke. But it's just the rudder. Okay, everything's working. We'll go ahead and, uh... the wind's kind of at an angle to us. So I'll put on my kickoff flaps. Uh, that's 30% power there. There's 100% out of the flaps. That's its usual self, guys. I think uh, multi-rotor was right. Got drag generators that we installed. I'll show you some snap flap action. See how tight you can run those loops with that huge deployment of flaps? It basically will just go in a super tight circle. Okay, I'm gonna come down here for a low pass on. Take off flaps are engaged. It's pretty windy out. Okay, now let's um let's go ahead and try our jeez. Getting sucked down to that top of that house there. Okay, full cra oh crap flaps. I need some more down elevator correction. That's 100 percent throttle there, guys. Still have control of the plane. Still controllable with that full flap deflection, which is awesome, guys. Okay, out of the oh crap flaps, they do deploy slower than they retract. They retract, go back into the normal flight configuration quicker. Okay, a little rudder turn. That sun was awesome. Did you like it? It's great. Okay, landing flaps. This is regular landing flaps. I'll have to do this video again, guys, when it's not crazy windy out, because it's a little hard to see if it's working good. Got all the regular rolls. Okay, now I'm going to turn on my oh crap setting. I want to see if I can get in a, a crazy aileron roll here. Oh yeah, still work. Okay, I'm going to land it with the oh crap setting. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to bring it down, load it with throttle. Coming out of the oh crap flaps, guys, the one thing is just the stall tendencies. I mean, when you slow a plane down, you're gonna slow it down, it's gonna be closer to the stall point. So I'm gonna get around here, take off flaps, landing flaps, standard landing flaps. Okay, oh crap flaps, get into the power. Wants to fly so sneaky bad. It's hilarious. Okay, I'm out of the flaps. Let's see if I can even turn around. I'm gonna try to use the wind. Yes! Back taxi is awesome. When it's super windy, it's hard to back taxi a plane at Dell Dragger, especially. 
Thanks for watching.